Guys, T-Fit here with Fit Bully TV. Listen, we are at Super Zoo. I don't think we did an intro once, twice, or at all. What you're going to see as we recap this particular wonderful event, there's 20,000 booths. A ton of opportunities for me to do what? Infomercial time. Practice my sales pitch. Learn a little bit more about the pet space, but most importantly, show your markets and stand the opportunity the pet space provides. Now, let's take a walk. <laughs> We've got the general on shoulder as he's our display dog. <laughs> We've got Super Zoo. And people thought there was going to be giraffes, monkeys, and gorillas here. But that's not the case, eh? But at any we'll re <laughs> we'll recap and show you guys some of the reactions that the general gets as he walks on Stan's uh, shoulder. This facility is probably five miles wide. We probably walked, Stan said, 80,000 feet in just a few days. 80,000 steps, my bad. In just a few days, there's 5,281 steps in a mile, I believe. So you can run your numbers and because I don't want to have it on right now. Okay. That's going to come out. <laughs> but at any who people, stay tuned, take care of your dogs, and welcome and goodbye to Super Zoo. here with Fit Bully TV. We just got back from Super Zoo. And I tell you, it was a great show. That show specifically is more about networking, building connections, getting to know people, learning about brands and business. It's more of a business to business, not open to the public. And on average, it can cost you $1,200 just to be on the floor. So big thank you for one to Black Pet Network, LaShonda, for sending us a link <laughs> and giving us access to so that we could if we chose to sit in some of the educational courses but even more importantly fellowship and just get to see what happens at the bigger levels now what we did learn is they actually don't understand social media and there's the opportunity because if we keep sticking to what we do and we keep doing what we do well and keep taking you guys on our journey you'll be both supportive of our products and a process that helps you and your dog continue to improve day in and day out jamarcus and stan both got a chance to uh, participate, learn, practice their communication. And that's really what you know. I went for. If anything, this year, I probably did less. Uh, and I'm saying this year, even though we went to Pet Global, this year, uh, this was Super Zoo, not Pet Global, but from in a five month time frame, we went from knowing nothing to seeing everything. And behind the scenes and really being invited in to like, I don't even know how to describe a closer look. I met a guy who sold a business to Karina for 120 million. <laughs> and it was basically kind of like a Fitbit thing for dogs. They say that your uh, net worth is rooted in your network. This was one of those networking events. Things that I hope you get a chance to go and see if ever you get a chance to go to Pet Global or Super Zoo is what is business? How does business work? How important is breeding to the business? Here's what I'll tell you nobody talked about breeding. Not one person. Everybody was trying to get their sh product showcased and find ways to get in other regions. There were some businesses who had great tools and great toys and things we'll be shooting a ton of content on. And they literally couldn't tell me where to get it in Texas. And then you start learning about supply chain and who they work with, how they work. And you go, man, this is confusing. You start scratching your head. So... For those that are watching Fit Bully TV, those that keep coming back, those that want to learn more, I'm going to do my best to highlight those people who literally work A to B and B to B so that you can get to C, which is your consumer. I think we're solving the consumer problem. So when a business does approach us, we can help them, but we're building a business as well. 
We did some infomercials. <laughs> That's what I call them. They're impromptu infomercials. Shout out to Bionic Ball. We got some great videos coming for them. He gave me a hug. He was so happy about <laughs> the first video that we shot. And I met his marketing woman. We, we just met a lot of people. I think Jamarcus might have found a way to connect with the treat company and, and potentially not just get free treats, but treats that he used and we use regularly that can you know, enhance your dog's life. We like to do, we like one ingredient treats. Uh, I mean, for the most part, you know, he's gonna recap and kind of show you everything. I think he got some stuff off, he got some stuff off the Osmo, but from dinners to meetings, to lunches, to brunches, to connections, <laughs> I mean that that's super super. So next year, you know, I said, are you gonna go back next year? I don't see the point. But if we're asked or invited by those people who are above us in the business world, Lashonda, shout out to Pet Boss Nation. She uh, got some drinks on the house for us. She said, you guys come and see me. I'm putting my card down. You guys get what you want. I said, won't you do it? <laughs> At three o'clock came like the timer went off. I didn't hear the timer on that thing. So let's head on over there, buddy. She said she'd be sitting around the way. It's hard to sum up what just happened because, again, it was business. And business is one of my favorite things, guys. But now, keep taking care of your dogs. Hopefully, you enjoy some of the stuff that you get to see. We, have, we we literally had a blast. I'll tell you this. It's oftentimes more about who you're with and, and where you're going. I never liked Vegas. Vegas wasn't that bad this time. And probably because I knew what was going on. We got front row seats, literally, to everything. <laughs> What's his breed? Jack Russell. Jack Russell. I love terriers. Yeah, oh. I have a pretty terrier mix, mm -hmm. and he is. He's a terrier. How old? He's 10. He's going to be 11 this year. Yeah. Yeah. He's still going. He's my boy. He's only a year old. Oh, my. You got a long life. Yes. They're so fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I like it out here. You know, it's cool, man. You from Vegas? Nah, I'm up in Cali. Okay. Yeah, Sherman Oaks and Irvine. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you train, you train all of them. What, train. what made you come out here to this show, man? Cause I come every year. Do you? Yeah, I come every year. Okay, what do you learn every year, man? That's a big question. Well, for me, I'm looking to uh, build and do products right now. So okay. this is the place to, to understand how to get your product. A lot of people, they get the product and now they're on shelf. And they don't understand this right here. They don't, this is where a lot of, a lot of businesses are stuck right here. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta really understand distribution, consumer, business to business, new call, all the big dis distributors, you gotta build a relationship with them before you even got a product. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. You gotta know what that relationship looks like, all of that, or you're gonna be playing with your money. <laughs> you'll be playing with your money. And get this, money never plays with you. That's right. Because either got right. it or you don't. That's right, that's right. Yeah, man, that's so know. what's the first product you'll come up with? I'm thinking dog shampoo or the freeze dry treats. You know. Trees probably sent you a trailer. That makes more sense. Right, right. But we, I just got another van. We're doing dog grooming right now. Oh, so you're a groomer too? Doing, it's a big business. Yeah, it is. It's a big it's a business. business. And, no, and a lot of people can't get their dogs groomed that are, have aggressive dogs. Right. So that's what got me into it. So what's the most aggressive dog that never gets groomed that needs grooming regularly? I would say probably your Huskies. A lot, I mean, we're in California. There's a lot of bouginess. They're not going to take your dog if your dog don't have act right. Your dog don't have no act right. Your dog not getting groomed. There's plenty of times I've seen two-year-old dogs that's never been groomed. Groomers are not, you think of it like childcare, right? Yeah. And we have children that have special needs, right? There's, there's teachers that can cater to special needs and there's teachers that just don't have it. Yeah. It's a lot of people in the, in, the, in the dog industry that just don't have it in regards to catering to certain needs. Well, that means the dog got skunk, right? <laughs> I'm so serious. There's so many different, it's not always a walk in the park in the industry, right? Yeah, yeah. But it leaves room for people who care like me, and I say, you know what? Our motto is we're gonna groom every dog, any dog. There's not one dog that we can't groom. That's gonna be us. You know what I'm saying? That's a niche in itself. It is. It is. Thank you, man. I and likewise, man. Let's make sure we tag you this. That's a good. No that's a good one, man. I'm What's up? He threw you in the water. Oh man, what's up, player? <laughs> you the famous dog. <laughs> that's right. You the famous one. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I, I be seeing you training too, man. Shit. How long you been training? For? Look at him. Won't talk. Since been age, your age, bag. age 13. You know, I started at age 13, and uh, it's funny because my mom got rid of my first dog. Right? <laughs> Fuck me up. It really did. Fuck me up. But it, it got me to be where I am. I mean, I'm. I'm I wouldn't never thought I'd be where I am financially or just 
as a man without that learning curve. You know what I'm saying? So I needed that. And now look, I got a program full of youngsters. My my best client, nine years old, man. He can't even have a worker's permit. He's phenomenal. I can't even get this guy to, to, to work. He's that young. The oldest is 85. We travel to her senior home where she travels and she does everything on leash, off leash with her dog. You know what I'm saying? So the knowledge is digestible for any and everyone who's doing a homework. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's doing the homework, go get that work. Preaching to the choir. They want to. Brother Baker says, I, I ain't had too many questions since he started talking. <laughs> Sometimes you got to let a man do what he does, man. I appreciate your candor and your clarity. And it's good to see someone who understands the importance of seeing what's really going on in the world we don't exist in. Next year, I'm thinking we'll be here. You know, it's a pretty penny to be here. Yeah. But we, we, you guys heard of him in Best Fest. Yeah. Earn your leisure. We'll yeah, be yeah. there in Atlanta next week. Really? We got invited to be there. You know how much it costs to be there? How much? Start 10K. We, got, we, we gonna have a booth. We just shipped our stuff there. We'll be there. We didn't even pay 10K. They, they invited us. That's a big blessing to be invited as Absolutely. a black business to be there. Yo, it's gonna be so many heads in the building. You know what I'm saying? Forget buy a dog package. <laughs> yeah, people want to invest in businesses. There you go, man. And that's you know what that, I'm saying? there's the trick. It's finding a business that can be modeled, scaled, and sold one day. Right. Especially if you've got all your operations and all that's that other right. stuff. Look, I love hearing I love hearing it, bro. It's a big thing. What you just said is a big deal though, right? Your, your operation, that's where a lot of entrepreneurs stay small, right? Oh, I know. You know what I'm saying? We I, don't have nothing to sell because that's what it is. Operations. That's what it is. Your operation of system is what you're selling, not my logo. Right? Not, not, I want to see that paperwork. You know what I'm saying? I want to see where, what, do, what do you do when it's December for marketing? What do you do when someone slips and falls? Is this in paper? You know what I'm saying? If it's not, a, then it's not a system of operation. Oh, and you just man. going with the flow and how you're operating. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that right there is everything. How you doing? Oh my God, more look at than, this. More oh, than good, more than oh. good. Oh man. Hey, he got us back in support, man. I love it, man. Real, real holy feel. This is cool, man. 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 We cannot wait to shoot Kato when we get back, bro. So, hey, uh, I'm you guys, you guys just reached my son. I was, I was going to introduce oh, you. Oh, thank you. He's like this little seven-year-old. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's super He's cool. a blast, man. I know that's why you're probably doing what you're doing. Yeah. That's the beauty of it, man. Well, I appreciate you. We're going to keep tagging it. Man, we, we love this stuff. Cool. We love this stuff. We'll see you again. How y'all like it out here? Stay tuned, people. Where y'all coming from? <laughs> okay, we're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Loretta. This is Maggie. And hi. This is the general. This is the general. It is. He outranks me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. so. My major. No. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, shoot away. What would you like so to do? So go ahead know? and tell them about Mr. Pretty and what she's doing with you guys. Okay. So I'm the founder of Maggie Jones, and we have Nutrient Touch, which is an antioxidant bath that can assist with lowering inflammation, helping with anxiety. We hired top antioxidant scientists that were congressionally funded to help create this as a transdermal for dogs. And Loretta Swit is a, is a good friend who we actually gave some product to some of the rescue dogs that she knew. And she saw the results firsthand. And she was willing, out of the kindness of her heart, to fly all the way out here from New York to help us out. And she has a Sweetheart Foundation that supports and helps dogs with surgery and different things that they need. We save lives. Save that's lives. what we're all about. And that's what right. Maggie is all about. <laughs> and uh, really, this is, I'm so excited. It's like a miracle thing to happen to, to help animals get rid of pain, uh, extend life, extend the quality of life. Yes, darling, general. He'll take them off of you. That way you ain't got to deal with them. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's a rat terrier, oh. so you know. Oh. He gets wired up. Yeah, I'm good. Fluffing. <laughs> okay, so here we are. My other pet. Uh, so, yes, this is it's just so exciting and so important, and people are responding 100% to this because it's so... It, it, I, 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 I don't sit down and try to sell this. We just show a few testimonials, and they go, whoa, well, where do I get this stuff? So uh, it's very exciting, and this is a great show because we're um, showing uh, what we can do to so many people. That's good, that's good. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Okay, thank is, you. That, is that it? That's oh, simple, that's simple. I, I'm gonna be talking to her a lot more over a long period of oh, time, yes, so yes. this is one of a few things where we get to sit down and just highlight.